To turn in any of your assignments, you want to be on the Classwork page in Google Classroom. Then you can scroll down and find the assignment that you need to turn in. Let's take a look at this Google Sheets assignment. To open the assignment, I first click on the name, and then I click View Assignment. When I do, I can see any rubrics that your teachers have attached, and if I want to view the different criterion on the rubric, I can click the drop-down arrow for each different criterion. Any materials that my teacher has added, maybe instructions, documents, or videos for you to watch, are going to appear right above the rubric and below the name of the assignment. You'll also see the point value in the upper left corner. Then, in the upper right-hand corner is where you'll see your work. If your teacher has attached a template that they want you to use to complete this assignment, you'll see it right here, and you can open it up and work on it. If there is no template, you can click Add or Create. When you click Add or Create, you have the option to add a Google Drive file, to add a link to an external website, or to upload a file. You can also start creating a brand new Google Doc, slide, sheet, or drawing right here within the assignment. When you've completed your work and you've attached all the necessary material, you can go ahead and click Turn In. If there's a template for you to work on, you click on it and open it up, and you do the work right here in the template that your teacher provided for you. When you're finished with everything, you can close that out because it's already attached to the assignment and you can click Turn In. It'll show you the attachments that you're submitting to your teacher and if that's correct, you go ahead and click Turn In. When you turn an assignment in in Google Classroom, it switches the permissions. As soon as you click Turn In, your teacher now has editing access and you no longer do. To get access back to your document, you simply click Unsubmit. That will reverse the permissions and will enable you to edit your document again.